Hello and welcome to my channel on human design. Today I want to talk about the process of human design, what human design does for us, the value of human design. And I want to take you into what I think happens. Imagine a time when you're growing up, no matter your situation, there will be adults around you conditioning you in one way or another, telling you this is good, this is bad, um, you know, don't do that, you know, do more of this or whatever it may be. And um, a lot of us grow up in this kind of fear. What's wrong with me often comes up for people. You know, why did I upset them? Why did they upset me? Why can't I uh, be more like this or more like that? And we go through our lives and we do our best. And we may even look into other different levels of knowledge um, to try to find our way, to try to find something more than the ordinary life lived on the surface. But it's not really until, well, in my in my experience, it's not really until you come across human design that you are suddenly given a blueprint. Now, there are different things. When when I was uh, shown my chart for the first time, it was like, wow, you know, what's that? You know, I was just, I didn't have any judgment about it. I was just very, very curious to know more, as I know that many of you are. Um, some people see their chart and they go, well, why what's wrong with me you know why don't i have more color you know they've got more color than me in mind so what's wrong with my chart um uh, i had someone the other day send me uh their chart in an email and they had all the colored centers in all the centers were, were lit up like a christmas tree and they were a triple split and they're going i am very disturbed about my design you know what does it mean so you can't win you know with that kind of conditioning you've got to get over that the main thing is that human design is the science of what is the case. It's not a matter of you going, I want one of those, and why don't I have more of this or that? It's about, well, this is the way it is. And it's deeply confirming when I see someone, if I'm doing a reading and I see someone with the 53rd gate, but not the 42nd gate in their chart, I say to them, you know, you're not here to have to finish things. And there is this deep smile or, you know, sense of relief. Really? I was never any good at finishing things. No, you don't have the energy for that. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with you. It's okay. It's just the way you're designed. It's a mechanical knowledge. Some of us have certain things. Others have other things. It's, uh, it's a wonderful thing, really, when you think about it, that we are all together. We cover everything. But we are what we are. So this begins a process. Now, to liken this process to something we can all relate to, think about when you learn to drive a car. And to begin with, it's, you know, it's very scary. You're driving this, you know, moving steel across the the uh, the tarmac at great speed, you know, you could kill someone, you could be killed, there could be a terrible accident, you know, and it's all like this until you get into the flow until you have more practice and then you can get to the level where you're not even driving it's just automatic you're still in a life-threatening situation potentially but you're not frightened you're driving the car on automatic now i want you to think about the sixth line process in the first uh, uh, 28, 30, uh, 30 years, we have this subjective view, this trial and error phase, you know, when we're bumping into things. Think about uh, small children. You know, we're finding out what's going on. You know, we, we do get hurt sometimes. You know, we do make mistakes. It's part of it. And it's deeply subjective. And with the human design chart, you have this, this blueprint and Ra often talked about the um the fact that human beings they've got to get over their own vanity that the vanity of the human being is something that gets in the way and it's tied to this question who am i well when you have your chart 
and you're experiencing and having confirmed again and again the truth of the chart, the way it reflects how you are in the world, something happens. There is this flip to the objective. There is this flip to be able to see life more as a what am I rather than a who am I. You see yourself in that way, living in your life more as a witness. And then this ties to strategy and authority. If you're working with your strategy and authority, if you're making decisions from what is truly in you, it's not like you're driving the car. You're watching what's going on. A little like this phasing attention we have when we're driving a car. We're highly attentive while driving the car. And at the same time, we can uh, listen to the radio or we can think about things. We can have a split attention. And we've got enough attention from practice on driving the car, which means we can take our attention. Some of our attention can be elsewhere. And when you've got your chart, you could begin to see the witness come out because there is this referencing to your blueprint, especially as you're getting into human design. There is this background phased attention on what you are, what your design is. And in that sense, you get to, to experience more of your life because you're, you're aware of that. It takes you into the third stage of the sixth line process, which is the transcendence, even from the objective. It becomes life just being lived and you living your life as yourself, no longer comparing yourself with others, no longer thinking, you know, I should do this, I should do that, you know, I want to reach here, or I want to get somewhere. It's actually just falling into what you actually are, and how you live in the moment, day by day, month by month, year by year, it continues, and it deepens. The deeper you go into human design, more aspects you understand about yourself. As you get to understand how you, the channels work, how the energy flows, how the lines will accent certain parts of you that you see confirmed every day, it reinforces this ability to witness what's going on. And that's when the transformation really happens. It is a process. It's not like you get an answer that you go, right, I'll remember the answer. Now I know who I am. It's a process. And it's a process that takes you back again and again to witnessing your life at a, at a level where the life and you become more connected. Think about what it's like being born. You know, sometimes I think about what would it like, you know, we're held together in the illusion of our separateness when we're incarnated, when we're in the meat. But we didn't come from there. We came from a, a, a consciousness that was much more connected to everything. And suddenly we find ourselves in this, this little form, in this particular mechanic. It it connects you back again. So the chart becomes a reference point that becomes automatic the longer that you're in human design. It enables you to really witness what's going on and accept what's going on, to actually be responsible for following your strategy and authority and engaging in the mystery that comes from that because we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know who we're going to meet or what we're going to meet. We'll adapt along the way, but we have the blueprint. We have the witness. We have engaging in life in a way that is fresh again, if I put it that way. That's what I see to be one of the main values of human design. So there is the movement from fear and constriction to the freedom of being able to actually go along with what the body is telling you, what your inner authority is telling you, to trust it, to step beyond the fear in the trust of it. And you can do it in small ways to begin with, of course. 
But bit by bit, it becomes like driving the car. It becomes automatic. And the information that comes back to you and the, the lack of the resistance that used to be there in your life is not only confirming, it's freeing. It's this movement to being able to be free to live you. Not a freedom to do whatever you want to do, which people think freedom is about, but it's, the, it's a better freedom. It's a freedom to be you. It comes through the witnessing process. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, if you did, please uh, like and share and subscribe. And I'll be back again very soon with something completely different. Bye for now.